This morning, Tia Trudgen joins us live from the Jake Mangini Museum in Norway, ahead of a special event it's hosting this Veterans Day. Tia, you're taking a look at the exhibit there. What have you learned this morning? Elizabeth, yeah, you're looking at the World War II memorabilia that will be on display this Saturday for that World War II memoirs and evening with the artists. I'm here now with the artist Carol Zecklin and museum director Mark Sertich. So, Mark, of course, this is a history museum, so that's, that's what it's all about, putting local history on display. And, of course, this Saturday is Veterans Day, and yeah. so you want to honor that. But why World War II? Why, why focus the event on that era? Well, World War II, as a lot of people would remember, it was the greatest generation. <clears throat> World conflict, and we had many men and some women from the area were veterans, and maybe 12 years ago, uh, Carol and a couple other ladies, a uh, lady that can't be here this morning, <clears throat> started working on uh, interviews with local World War II veterans, and it was a thing where time was of the essence because um, a lot wow. of them are gone now, right. so they started working on, on that, and we thought it was important to highlight that. It's been an ongoing project and one that they want to raise funds to continue and to finish it at some point. So that's what this presentation going on behind us is, is interviews with the World War II vets. So that's what people will be uh, seeing this Saturday when they come for this that? It's just a part of, just a snippet of what uh, the 30-minute presentation on Saturday will be about. Um, <clears throat> this is a Lieutenant DeRitter's son here. Uh, obviously, they couldn't interview him because he died in a plane crash mm. uh, in uh, 1944. So he had written a, uh, like a, uh, not a, uh, like a, what do you want to say? Uh, uh, like memoirs. Memoir, yeah. His, what his, say. Yeah, memoirs. And uh, we have the book here. We got copies of them. And um, that's what uh, his uh, son and his daughter are talking about, uh, about his life and times in the military. So a lot of history on display. Carol, really quickly, I just have to ask you, you know, what do you think your art will, will bring to this event this weekend? Well, um, it'll bring people into the museum, mostly. Um, mm -hmm. I was the director of the Norway Museum for five years, um, and when I retired, I started painting. I had mm -hmm. more time and just took advantage of, of um, a local groups sitting down and painting with people, going out, doing plein air painting. Yeah. And I um, was um, part of the silent sporters group and I started painting them. So, <laughs> so this, I'm sorry to have to cut you off. We are really running out of time here. So this weekend people can, can learn more about the, the local World War II veterans and just get some, some yeah. peace and joy from your art. I will make sure to share all of the information to this weekend's event on our website, UpperMichiganSource.com. But that's all I hear, have here at the Jake Mangini Museum in Norway. It's back to you ladies now. All right, looks like a great exhibit. Thank you so much, Tia.